All right, guys, Brendan Fry here, a top earner with National Wealth Center. I wanted to cover something really quick because um, I know some people get into the National Wealth Center business and don't quite grasp the compensation plan and how to position yourself properly to make the most money. So one thing that happened actually just last night is I had a member join at just the $100 level. Now, that's perfectly fine. If, you're, if you have some marketing system or something where you're just wanting to market just the $100 product level, that's fine. However, you're going to find out that a lot of people are going to come in at the $25 and $50 level, and you're going to be missing out on sales every single time somebody signs up with you. So you don't want to get in at just one of the monthly product levels and miss out on the rest. So let me just kind of give you some examples here real quick about how this might, this might come about. So in National Wall Center, we have all these different product levels, seven different product levels, $25, $50, $100, which are all monthly residual income. Then we have the high ticket product levels of $250, $1,000, $3,500, and $7,500. So what we typically recommend is for people to get in at all three of the monthly product levels. So what, that way you can maximize the monthly residuals and get as most out of the residuals every single month from your members. And then we also recommend you to choose one of the high ticket levels. Okay. Now, some people can't do that, okay? So what we do, if you can't afford one of the high tickets, just get it into all three of the monthly product levels. If not, I'm gonna explain how to get into the monthlies, okay? So let's just do some examples here real quick. And I'm just gonna, guys, excuse my writing here. Um, let's just say Mary joins with you, okay? And let's say, um, we're just gonna make the example out of the person who joined me last night at just the $100 product level. So let's say you're just in at the $100 product level. Well, let's say Mary comes in to join your business and she joins at the 25 and the 50. And let's say she joins the 100 also. Okay, so that's $175 she paid to get in. Now, you're only gonna make the 100 because you're only in at the 100. So you're gonna miss out on $75 a month from this one member just because you didn't get the 25 and 50. Okay, now let's do another example. Let's say Bill comes in and he joins just the 25. Well, if Bill comes in and just joins the 25, then you didn't make anything off that member. Um, you missed out on $25 there, okay, because he didn't get the 50 or the 100, okay? So what we recommend, guys, and it's kind of clear here, but most of the time, people are gonna come in and they're gonna get, they're gonna start out at the lower levels, okay? So most of the time, they're gonna get the $25 first, then we'll have some people that come in and get the 25 and the 50, and then we'll have people like Mary who came in and got all three. Okay, so it's better, let's say you're on a budget and you can only afford $100 a month for your products in National Wealth Center. Then I recommend getting the 25 and the 50 versus just getting the 100 because you're going to make more money because more people are going to come in at the 25 or the 25 and 50. Okay, anybody that comes in at the 100 is usually getting all three of these monthly product levels. Okay. So it's very important, guys, to know that. A lot of people don't seem to know that, and they come in and they get the 100, and then I have to let them know, hey, make sure you go ahead and get the 50 and the 25 also, or you're going to be missing out on $75 a month from your members. Because if they're coming in at the 100, they're probably coming at the 25 and 50 as well. So that's $75 a month per member you're missing out on. Okay, so guys, I hope you understand that. Now, with the high-ticket product levels, again, we recommend to get one, you know, one of the high-ticket product levels, of course, if you get, let's say, if you get the $1,000 product level, then you automatically get the $250 Compton Qualified. It's included. Okay. Same thing, if you get the $3,500, you're getting the $1,000 and the $250 Compton Qualified, meaning you don't have to pay for these two product levels and you don't have to pass up sales on them. How cool is that? Um, same thing with the $7,500 product level. You get that, and then you get all the high-ticket product levels Compt and Qualified, meaning you don't have to pay for them, you don't have to pass up any sales. Okay, so very cool, very cool there. Now the monthly product levels, of course, are different. You pay on the monthly, they're all paid individually. So you'll make a $100 payment, a $50 payment, and a $25 payment. I guess some people may be confused and think that the 100 includes the 50 and the 25, which it doesn't. So uh, make sure you understand this when you're getting into the business and make sure that you're, you're maximizing the compensation plan. Because again, if you get just the $100 product level and then Joe comes in and gets the 25 and 50, but he doesn't get the 100, you missed, off, you missed out on 75 bucks. In fact, you didn't get anything from Joe, okay? And again, if people are gonna come into the business, um, run out of names here, let's say Bob comes into the business, you know, if people come in and get the 100, they're getting the 25 and 50 also, 
So if you're just into the 100, you're going to miss out 75 bucks per member um, for every single member. You're going to miss out 75 bucks a month. Okay, so that adds up, guys. So I hope you guys get this. I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to kind of explain this better because I know, um, you know, some people may be confused about it. Obviously, they are because some people are getting in and only getting the 100. So uh, make sure you're not making that mistake, guys. Okay. And just while I'm here, I'll go ahead and do a a little explainer on the pass ups because some people don't seem to know the pass ups um, very well, which is very, very, very simple. Okay. So let's say here's you. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to use the $25 product level as an example for this. And it works on every product level. Okay. So there's a $25 level. Okay. You sign up. Your first member, let's say it's Bill. Well, Bill's going to go to you. He's your very first sign up. That $25 goes to you. Okay. The second person we'll say is Mary. Mary's going to pass up to your sponsor. Okay. Whoever your sponsor, whoever your referrer is. Mary's going to get passed up to them, so you won't ever um, see them or anything. Now, I mean, you will see them in your back office, and you will be their sponsor. You will be taking care of this member, but the sell, the money, goes to your sponsor. Okay, Okay. now the third person joins. Let's say this is Russ, and Russ's payment is going to go to you, so that $25 is going to you. So you're now making $50 a month residual just on the $25 product level. Okay, now the fourth person... Let's say this is Nate, and Nate's payment is going to go pass up to your sponsor also. Okay, so now you're comp. Now I mean now you're qualified. So now you've got your two pass ups. Now you've um, satisfied the pass up structure. You passed passed up your two cells, and now your sponsor has their two. Now the rest, all of the cells after that to infinity, are all yours. Now, in the rare situation that somebody quits or, or stops making payments or whatever, let's say Nate um, let's say Nate drops off the map, and I don't know what happens to Nate, but he quits making his payments, he cancels his membership, whatever. Well, what's going to happen is the next person you sign up, now, if you've signed up anybody in the meantime, let's say you signed up five, six, seven, eight, those all stay in place and they're still paying you. But let's say number nine comes in, and this is Kate. Kate's going to get passed up to your sponsor in place of Nate. Okay, so it's going to take Nate's spot, and now you're satis you've satisfied your pass-ups again. Okay, so now you're fully qualified again, and now the rest will go to you. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. You guys, again, excuse my writing here. My, my drawing is not the best here. Now, that's just on the $25 level. It's the exact same thing on the $50. It's the exact same thing on the $100. Um, so it's the same on those. Now, when you get into the high ticket, two fifty, right there, two fifty plus. Those are actually your. It's the same thing. You pass up to your second and your fourth. However, you never have to replace anybody because it's not residual. It's a one-time payment. So once you pass up, um, once you pass up your two, you're done. That's all you'll ever have to pass up on the 250 and up. Okay, so those um, those are you know you get those two and you're done. So the only ones you ever have to really think about maybe possibly having to pass up any more than two, and it's not really that you're passing up more than two. It's just if somebody leaves, then you you owe another pass up. So it's always just two. But um, the only reason you would ever have to do that is if you know in the rare situation that somebody cancels their membership, they're not in the business anymore. They're not. They're not promoting and they just canceled their subscription, then you may have to replace somebody on the monthly levels, but only on the monthly levels. Okay. So, guys, I hope this makes sense. Again, it's very important to understand that if you're getting in at the monthly levels, start out at the lower ones first, 25 or the 25 and 50. If you're going to do the 100, do all three. Okay. Do all three, 25, 50, and 100. Otherwise, you're leaving money on the table. It's just crazy. Okay. So, um, and guys, I wanted to also let you know if you're going to be doing any postcard marketing um i really really recommend you get it all three at monthly product levels and possibly one of the high tickets but definitely all three monthly levels so it makes your return on investment worth it um if you're doing just a 25 dollar level you know then you're spending you know three four hundred bucks for postcards and you get a couple sales i mean it'll pay off in the long run you know over a, a year's time or whatever but 
it's better to be in it the 25, 50, and 100, um, especially because we see people with postcards are getting in at all three as well. The people, the sales you get from the postcards are coming in at all three levels most of the time. So make sure you're doing that. Okay, guys. So again, just make sure you're you're maximizing the compensation plan and you understand this fully when you get into the business. If you still have questions or whatever, you can always reach out to me and let me know. Otherwise, get back with the person who referred you to the business and they can help you understand this even further. But guys, I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.